Hello everyone, long time no see. I am here once in a while these days. <laughs> How are you all doing? Apart from this hand, I'm doing well. Please bear with me. We need to reserve another video to talk about this hand. Today, we are going to prepare diaspora ofaku. <laughs> Ever since I uploaded my classic ofaku video, Nigerians in the diaspora, in Obodo Ibo, in the abroad. <laughs> I love that phrase, in the abroad. Nigerians in the abroad have been asking for their own version. Flo, what do I use if I don't have palm fruits? That's Mburaku. I don't have Ogiri Obei. What do I use if I don't have scent leaves? I don't have any scent leaves where I live. Don't worry, I'll answer all those questions in this video as we prepare Ofaku in Obodoibo. Let's go! Here are the ingredients you will need. I'll talk about them as we go along. So watch patiently with rapt attention. The full list will be in the description box below the video. First, we prepare the ingredients. Chop the onion like so. For the tastiest ofaku, you will need red onions. Red onions will bring out the real taste of your ofaku more than any other type of onion. Steam the beef with the seasoning cube and some of the chopped onions. By the way, I'm using beef flavored seasoning cubes. I mean, it should be a no brainer. When you're cooking beef, you should use beef flavored stock cubes. I mean, there are some times that I go against these rules, but yeah, I also explain why I do that in the video. Just steam till the beef is pale all over. Then add some water and start cooking. Next, we boil some water. I'll use this hot water to prepare the palm fruit concentrate. You see how congealed it is? It's only heat that can melt this one. This is what those who live outside Nigeria use when cooking ofaku. It's just already prepared palm fruit concentrate, then canned. This brand is Ghana Fresh. So put that in any glass or metallic container. I am using my Niger pot. This is this pot is Niger identity. <laughs> then pour the hot water. This palm fruit concentrate comes with particles. So we need to dissolve it with hot water so that those unwanted elements will settle at the bottom. Okay, this is the quantity I'm using for this ofaku. 400 grams or 14 ounces for those in North America. Yeah, you know, in the America, you people have your own measurements. For the quantity of water to add, I would say add till you get this consistency you see now and then some. You want the mix liquidy enough. I don't want to say watery. Yeah, you want it liquidy enough for the particles to go to the bottom. If the mix is thick, they will not sink to the bottom or all of them will not sink to the bottom. They will be very slow in getting to the bottom. Then slowly decant that into another container. You see the bad guys? 
This feels like sand when your teeth comes in contact with them while you are enjoying your ufaku and rice. You hear that? You don't want these in your ufaku at all at all. <laughs> Then set that aside and leave it to rest so that if there are more unwanted particles remaining in there, they will settle at the bottom. Next, season the fish. I only use salt. Fish has its own natural flavor that I do not like to interfere with. This is gilt head sea bream fish. You can use mackerel, you can use tilapia. Yeah. Remember to keep an eye on the beef. For scented vegetable, in Nigeria, we use a vegetable known as scent leaves. That's Nchuaun in Igbo or Efiri in Yoruba. But outside Nigeria, unless you planted this yourself in your garden, this is nowhere to be found. At least where I live. I can't buy these le the scent leaves where I live. So I'll be using basil, basil, depending on if you want to go with the American pronunciation or the English pronunciation. It is known as albahaca in Spanish. Basil does not smell or taste like Nigerian scent leaves. In fact, it smells and tastes like Nigerian curry leaves. Out of all the scented leaves that I can buy here in Spain, I live in Spain for those who don't know, I would rather have a curry leaf taste in my ofako, which is actually very delicious, than say mint leaf taste. Mint leaves look like Nigerian scent leaves. Look so, but taste nothing like scent leaves. It will ruin your ofaku and render it inedible. You will feel like you are eating with toothpaste. <laughs> yeah. So do not use mint leaves. If you can't buy basil where you live, use parsley. Parsley has a very weak, hardly noticeable taste and scent, but it is better to not have any scent from the vegetable you're using than have a strong off-putting scent <laughs> or aroma, if you know what I mean. Anyway, enough about the right leaf to use outside Nigeria. Rinse that, chop and set aside. Pound the pepper and the locust beans. I am using habanero pepper. Any hot and spicy pepper is good. Fresh cayenne pepper, dry cayenne pepper, scotch bonnet peppers add to your taste. You can see that the locust beans is so dark. That's because it is very fermented and dry. That's the one that it's called ogiriope that is fit for preparing ofaku. I know they add some other things when making ogiriope, but a well-fermented locust bean is good enough. Pound that till smooth. Next, I need to fry the fish. If you remember what I said in the main ofaku video, I said that for best results, the meat and fish you use for ofaku should either be fried, dried, roasted, or grilled. And for that, I'll be using sunflower oil, then onions for flavor, and of course the fish I seasoned earlier. Pour the vegetable oil in a pan to heat up. I see that the meat is done. Take them out. and slowly decan the palm fruit concentrate we set aside earlier. You see, there are still some unwanted particles at the bottom, I tell you. If you keep allowing this to rest, you keep seeing them. Cover and boil it down. Remember, we added enough water to get the consistency we need for the unwanted particles to go down to the bottom. Now, we just need to boil it down to the required consistency. That's all. The oil is hot enough now. Add the onions and fry the fish. Then grill the beef in the oven. Keep an eye on the fish and turn it around so that all sides will fry well. Mm. 
let's check the pan fruit concentrate to see if we have the right consistency not yet it still looks watery to me if you like this consistency you can stop cooking it here and add the rest of the ingredients as you will see later when i add mine but for me we continue cooking i want it to be thicker the fish should be okay by now yes it looks good i don't really want to fry it till kakaraka dry so take that out The meat is good as well. I turn them around at some point for an even grill. The pan fruit concentrate has boiled down to the right consistency for this stew. You can also see the oil floating on top. That is a sign that it no longer has a raw taste. You know, when you eat the stew, it will not be sticky in the mouth. Add the onions, the crayfish. The Ogiri Ope and Pepe. Click the like button. Have you clicked? Have you? <laughs> it's been a while I said that. Add the meat and fish. Let it simmer for a bit. Then add the basil, taste for salt, and if necessary, add some. cover and once it simmers again it's done look at that bold white rice with ofa prepared in the diaspora in the abroad best combo ever it tastes and smells so good no tasting on camera today because my hand is paining me because <laughs> Bye-bye, see you.